I run a fashion label by the name Katush by Katungulu Mwandwa and I do both women's and men's wear um, inspired by my daily experiences in the city. Um, basically targeting the everyday superhero, um, like yourselves. I'm very happy to be listed as a top 40, <laughs> under the top 40 um, women in business. Um, it's actually, I'm extremely honored. It is actually very exciting and encouraging to see that there's actually people following and interested in the progress of the work that I've done so far. I genuinely love my work and the, the challenges and the, and the successes that I, that, I get to part, that I get to be a part of through this journey um, are basically exciting and they add flavor to my life. And I can't imagine not doing this um, on a daily basis. And the fulfillment of seeing my work as a finished product and on a consumer is, is amazing. And I guess that's what strives me to do the work that I do daily. My challenges are various and, and, and I think like any person in business, um, there are various um, hurdles that I've come across that I might not have been as prepared for as I'd have liked to be um, to overcome um, to overcome them in general. A very challenging um, industry or sector that I'm in. Um, it doesn't quite have the support um, systems or or infrastructure required to to manoeuvre this sector with ease and. Um, with that, I have found myself and other designers who, who are in the same line of industry, um, in the same line of work, have also found that we have had to wear many hats to, to fill in the gaps of what is missing. And therefore, the last few years has been my life just multitasking, learning new skill sets and, and, um, and uh, what else can I call them? Basically multitasking to make sure that, this, that my business is able to survive. Uh, Besides work, I genuinely enjoy sitting in gardens, um, baking, plant shopping, um, having conversations with friends, with strangers, and um, just exploring and working with my hands, even outside of my work, um, to create things of beauty, basically. Um, yeah, that's basically what I do in my free time. My advice to upcoming fashion designers is that this is an extremely challenging sector. <laughs> um, but one must remain positive and to do as much research. And, and I just simplify it and just be like, just research this industry and the sector because it's not going to be easy to maneuver some of the challenges that you'll come across in futures. And you'll require to wear multiple hats for various different um, parts within your business that you might not think you need at the moment. So you'll probably need to have a basic understanding of bookkeeping, of, of manufacturing, of sourcing, of shipping, of, I mean, there are a variety of things that you need to plug into to this sector um, or into your business that you will need to find out more about. It's exciting when I look at, look back and I'm like, hiya, that was one stressful year, but imagine I'm still sitting here right now and I have been given the opportunity even now to show in Paris this coming weekend. Um, at the Paris Fashion Week under this really cool um, um, platform with designers from Nigeria, Ghana and even one from Bangladesh as women in the fashion sector um, under the ITC. What else do we have? I have shown randomly at New York Fashion Week under Zenart when I was completely unprepared but of course I learned a lot from that experience. Um, what are the cool things? Having shown in multiple cities across the continent, 
all of which have shown me a different perspective on what the fashion industry has looked like. Those have been, has been a huge highlight. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to more, um, more winning, more wins. Is that the term? Yeah, more wins coming forward. <laughs>